Alright, here's our engine. Alright, so we got four cylinders, so we can come up here. Yeah. And see one, two, three, four, four cylinders. That's yeah. Put our number on. Um, but we got four cylinders. If you come to the back of the engine, that's the accessory for the carrier. So right here, you have dual magnetos. There's the right mag, there's the left mag on the other side. Yeah. Okay? They're engine driven. All right, this right here is your full flow oil filter. Okay. There's your oil filter. Want to make sure, yeah. This is your engine driven fuel pump right here. Right down here. Okay. You see that? That's your engine driven fuel pump. If you feel, see it comes with this fuel strainer right here. Yeah. So fuel is pumped up through there. And if you follow the hoses, it comes down there. I think it comes up here. And then it comes all the way up here to the fuel air control unit and the distribution valve. Okay. Um, so there's, here's your vacuum pump. Another thing. Keep going on that accessory package. It says you have the alternator mount on the front of the engine, there's the alternator. Mm -hmm. And the starter, which is right there. What happens when you start the engine? You crank that gear to start. This motor starts spinning, but first it pops out. These gears align with these gears, which then what causes the pop to start spinning, which then causes everything else to start working. Mm -hmm. um, Cool. Let's cut the flyover right there. Alright, question, how many spark plugs do we have? Two per cylinder. Two per cylinder. One from the right, magneto, one from the left. So, if you look here, here's one. Right yeah. here, down here for this cylinder. Another one right there. Yeah. So you got two spark plugs per cylinder. Yep. Alright, if you follow the lines right here. So this is the bottom spark plug. If you follow the lines right here. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. They got them mixed all together. Yep. Let's see. This one wraps around. It's on the bottom. Oh man, it's one part of the All right. All right. I want to make sure I tell you this right. Okay, cool. All right, so the right mag feeds the bottom. Yeah, uh, left on top. Yeah, I gotta remember it off the top of my head, so I'm like, you just look and follow and see which one does it. Okay. All right, cool. All right, got the exhaust pipe. Muffler. That's where air goes in? Yep. So, if you look here, this right here, I forgot what it's called, but it's a little valve that pops open. Okay. The air filter is mounted right here. If we're flying an IMC and we start picking up ice and stuff like that, this air filter can get frozen over. That sucks, right? Yeah. But fortunately, we have this little valve right here. Suction from the engine will actually create a vacuum and pull this valve open. I can sit here and push this valve open. It's spring-loaded. Okay. Cool. And this is the battery. Yep. So main battery, standby battery is actually located behind the firewall. External power access, you got valve covers. This right here is your exhaust pipe. You can see the pipe goes all the way in here in the muffler. Well, this is the shroud. The muffler is inside of it. If you actually look, you know how the heating system works? So, the heating system, air flows in here. This is the muffler right here. Okay. And around is this little shroud. So air comes in and goes around this. This gets really hot. And when air goes in, flows over top of it, carries that heat. Mm -hmm. well, Real quick. See this little pipe right here? This okay. goes into the cabin. So this hot air will flow through this pipe and then go into the cabin. That's how we get cabin heat. Okay. Fortunately, we don't have AC, but that sucks. Yeah. Uh, but if you look, see this little valve right here? So right now the cabin heat is closed, so any hot air just comes right back into the cowling. But if I go pull the cabin heat, oh, are you know what? Uh, you good. Sure. Yeah, you good. I just gotta beat this door back and I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you guys are good, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. If I actually come in here, look at that valve. I'm gonna pull the cabin heat. Yep. So that's gonna allow hot air to flow through here, and then if I close the cabin heat, it opens up that valve. Oh. Yes. All right, cool. Here's an oil cooler. Let's pull the oil. And right here, this is your intake. Mm -hmm. Your intake place. where air and fuel yep. in. comes in. Well, if you look, this right here. So this is a fuel distribution unit. So flow 
fuel flows in through here. If you come through here, if you follow these little metal tubes right here, mm -hmm. you can see that. It'll actually go into the uh, fuel injectors. Okay. All right. Any questions? None really. Okay. That's all I kind of got off the top of my head. Thank you. I'm kind of going improv here. I didn't plan to come out here, but. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Hey, no See problem, you. Man. Thank you.